Good afternoon, everybody. This is my uh, 1995 Trek 930 single track, and I've just been working on it uh, here and there <clears throat> for the last couple of weeks, and uh, pretty much have it dialed in. Now I'm just adding accessories. I covered all the scratches with this flat black paint, um, and then I'm going to cover it with a uh, burgundy paint. So basically, the flat black is going to be my base. And uh, the burgundy is going to be the color, just like the rest of the frame. But I'm taking my time on it, sanding the parts, because I don't want to strip down the bike. Um, just redid the headset, and, you know, there's not much to do to a, in a headset. Basically, you loosen the top bolt, you loosen the stem bolt, you pull the stem off, drop the fork, clean it up. Uh, the bearings are in a race, so it's pretty simple and self-explanatory. The grease was actually pretty uh, good grease still. Uh, it had some fill wood in it. So I wiped everything down and just reapplied fresh grease. So fill wood at the bottom, fill wood at the top. Uh, readjusted the headset through the stem bolt. Um, and I'm talking about the side stem bolt. You know, the old school style. And uh, that took all the play out of the front end of the bike and gave me a little bit more suspension which I thought originally was suspension wasn't. It was just a loose headset. So uh, now the headset's beautiful. Put a gold cap on it because I just simply had it. Um, you guys know I added a lot of purple accessories to it. It's shifting beautiful. I'm still debating on the chain. Uh, it does have a, a, ch a chain link on it. So it's obviously been replaced once before. Uh, but it is a 1995, so it could be 10, 15 year old chain, who knows. So uh, <clears throat> if I do a new chain, I might do a multi-color chain, but that might be a little overboard. So I might just put a nice silver chain on it. But right now, this bike is spinning beautiful. Um, I love the geometry of this bike. The geometry is just so reminiscent of an old school cross-country bike. Um, and I just love the way it feels. I love the way it sounds. Um, if you guys could get a hold of an old steel mountain bike, road bike, cross country, whatever, you know, get it, guys. Yeah, there's going to be a little, you know, things to do to it, especially if it was left in the elements. Remember, steel does rust. Uh, I got real lucky with this bike. It had scratches, but no rust, just scratches. So once you... Uh, take care of the scratches and uh, cover them up and uh, sand them down the rust doesn't spread or what we call in the steel world the cancer doesn't spread on the bikes so that's key look at the welds if the welds are true then you know you you got a good basis for a good bike um, the canties are very easy to adjust the gears are very easy to adjust um, it's just in beautiful shape, guys. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. But what I most enjoy about it, I'll be honest, is just working on it. You know, fine-tuning it, getting it back to what it was once was uh, a race-worthy cross-country machine. And it uh, just brings back a lot of good memories, um, refurbishing old bikes. And uh, I do it for therapy. It just really good therapy for me it, it really allows my mind to get into the bike and uh, learn learn new things you know I'm learning something constantly on these bikes you know they're just cool old bikes and uh, sorry for the shadow sun's right behind me but just look at her she's a beauty man and uh, she deserved a second life okay guys if you have any questions or any comments please leave them uh, I do thank all my new subscribers. It's really exciting to see that people are still interested or finding my videos a little bit interesting. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And you guys uh, get out and ride. I, so in Southern California, we're supposed to have some rain by the end of this week. I hope not. But, you know, the past two days have been beautiful. And I've really enjoyed them. Um, me personally, I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, fighting a lot of uh, ills and uh, hopefully uh, next month I'll be back to my uh, to my writing and, and, and just getting out and enjoying this weather. All right guys, talk to you all soon.